Welcome back. We've been looking at loving God, the topic loving God, and we've been looking at various ways by which we can demonstrate our love for God. And, um, uh, and some of the ways is to hate evil, to, hate, to love our brothers, to know God, to, um, uh, the, to understand that loving God is a command, it's not an option, and so many different ways we've been looking at. And today, we see that to love God is to trust Him. You know, we cannot love God if we don't trust Him. If we say we love God wholeheartedly, then we need to come to a place of trusting Him wholeheartedly. Let's look at a few scriptures here. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, it says, Without faith it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So, when we come to God and we say that we love Him, first of all, we need to believe that He exists. We need to believe that He is all that He said He is in His Word. And we need to believe that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Proverbs 3 and verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So trusting in Him with all our heart, when we come before Him, it requires faith. And there could be some hindrances to us trusting God wholeheartedly. And let's look at some of that. We could have a wrong understanding of who God is. We could have a wrong or a distorted picture of God Himself, about His character, about His nature. Or we could have a very deficient understanding of God's love for us. And therefore, we are not able to trust Him wholeheartedly. Secondly, our past experiences, our journey in life till now. As believers, you know, we go through ups and downs, we go through hurtful experiences, and many times we come to a place of not trusting people, and in the same way, we do not trust God. If we don't trust Him, we cannot love Him. And and another, another way, by another thing that comes as a hindrance is our own rationale, our own intellect. Our mind is a gift from God. But when it is not renewed or when it is not aligned to the Word of God, it becomes a hindrance. So we have logical reasonings, we have uh, you know, arguments there which prevent us from trusting God fully, which prevent us from taking God at His Word. So, we are not able to trust God wholeheartedly. Therefore, we are not able to love God with all our heart. So today, as we come before Him, even as we are commanded to trust Him with all our heart, um, let's look at this word, Psalm 18 and verses 1 to, 1 to 2. Psalmist says, I will love you, O God, my strength. And then in verse 2, he says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. Again, we see this connection between loving God and trusting God. So to love God is to trust Him. To trust Him wholeheartedly is to express our love for Him. So as we pray, let's ask the Holy Spirit to teach us, uh, to lead us, and even as we learn to trust Him more, even as we learn to break down those strongholds of distrust and unbelief and we put our trust in Him even more and be strong in our faith and to love Him more. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank You uh, for this revelation, the Lord, that uh, when we trust You, God, it is our expression of love for You. And Lord, this uh, today we ask that You would break down every stronghold Lord, everything that might come in the way of trusting us, every hindrance that might be there. Lord, we pray that you'd give us a fuller picture of a revelation of who you are, your heart for us, your love for us. And Lord, if there, our mind is coming in the way, Lord, we pray that our thoughts will be renewed to your word, renewed to the revelation of who you are, Lord. And uh, Lord, we pray, O oh God, that our picture of you, O oh God, our understanding of you, Lord, will be clearer even as we read your word, even as we meditate on your word. And Holy Spirit, we pray that you would take us on this journey of knowing you so that we can trust you even more. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.